Hey guys, and welcome to Metropolis 2.0. Oh my god. Mad, mad Gear Zone. Yep. Dr. Yep. Eggman's secret base. Oh gosh. And you'll, ne zone, you'll never know honestly, who's gonna come back. Honestly, yeah. this zone isn't that bad in my honest opinion. Right. Yeah, I agree. This zone isn't too bad. I mean... Still better than Lost Labyrinth right. Zone. Yeah. But shell crackers. But oh, shell crackers. crackers. Shell crackers are back. But, oh oh no. boy, I wonder They're what back. we're gonna run into. The shell crackers. Uh, yes, back. yep. We still. Yeah, the shell crackers are back. Mm -hmm. Wonder and what we're gonna run oh, into no. next. Shell crackers. Asterons. Asterons. No. Oh god. We oh, ran no. into both. Shell we ran into both shell crackers and asterons. But oh boy. Which, all le which only leaves... That that means we only uh -huh. have the... Are we gonna run into it? Where are they? No! There Slicers! Why have to be... Oh, right, the homing attack is there, so it's... So it's just piss yeah. easy. The homing attack doesn't make yeah, a difference. Slicers yeah, the slicers aren't too bad in this game. I mean, their places yeah. are still... Yeah, the, the main features. reason why is because the homing attack is so quick that you get to... And plus... The, unlike Sonic 2, the Slicer's like attack is a lot more delayed, so you have no! more than enough time. To break slicers are upside down. Uh, because yep. but, uh, sorry, again, but the unholy again, trinity has a turn, again, which makes Johnny's life a living but hell. Again, but again, the slicers are more bearable in this game because uh, their attack is incredibly delayed, so you have more than enough time to strike them. While with yep. Sonic 2, it's instantaneous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it's pretty easy to take care of them. It's at least, at least I finally had to make one Johnny joke for, for the playthrough. I mean, you yeah. ruined the, 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 the screw attack, which never happened. But at least the at least the unholy trinity. Lucas. I wasn't even thinking about making Lucas. Watch, but okay. I, I I get I get it. We all love some call me Johnny and Braid scratch commentaries. But do you always have to, like? To use one of the, one of his their jokes like for every Why playthrough. Why not? I feel like it could attract more viewers. Maybe. But I don't. But but, but I don't want to. I don't want us to. Uh, I see. I, I want to focus more on my own jokes rather I than, see. you know. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because. I, I don't, because I respect the, I respect those guys, guys, like, as if they were, as if they were because friends. It's one of a comical to. effect, but just don't actually use their jokes. I know it. I mean, I don't mind making a reference or allusion to them, but if we're using the exact same joke, it's it kind of, yeah. Like, I may, like, I may have made, like, my biggest example is actually in your playthrough of Hot Wheels Velocity X. Right. Um when we when, like instead of editing load times for like Mighty Number no. Nine, you replace them with clips from Danny Phantom, right. which which is similar, but it's not the exact same thing because yeah. you're using completely different footage. Right. Because yeah, I feel like it because because well that, for that it made perfect sense because Ryan used different just used like memes. I just had to use I just had to, I just use load load screens that just match from, from Danny Phantom. Yeah, that would make sense. Though of course, though of course, uh, Scott would occasion occasionally um, uh, in, uh, do something silly. Like, for example, I remember at one in, in one clip, he inserted the part from Bruce Ward Gore with "Give me your lunch money, pal." Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. And also troll, oh. which ended up oh, being yeah. copyrighted. Apparently. Yeah. I think I know the reason why it's copyright because it's like an overused song. So and also yeah. one of the uh, more popular memes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, this thing it starts off very slow, but it also slowly builds up acceleration, and you go faster and faster and faster and faster until you, you reach your next destination. Yeah. This is also Sonic music used in Sonic Genesis. I mean, Sonic Generations. Oh yeah, that's right. I know. I, yeah. That was the most trollish, trollish thing in that zone, where it like starts off with yeah. level nine, and then all of a sudden it's the invincibility theme, and it's like, oh god. Yeah, it's such a tease too. Yeah. 
Thank, thankfully, in Lego Dimensions, we instead get Open Your Heart from Sonic Adventure. Oh, yeah, that's right. I yeah. almost forgot about that. Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, um, when you fight when you fight the final boss, uh, you actually get to hear Open Your Heart when you transform into Super Sonic. Yeah, this game? well, it's an instrumental version of it, oh, mind nice. you, but, but it's yeah. still good. I, I'm, I, I'm actually very obsessed with June Sonoy's instrumentals, in case it wasn't obvious. Like, um... Yeah. I think I think I mentioned this in our playthrough of Sonic Adventure, but um, I love the instrumental so much that even though Johnny Giovelli would be singing the vocals, I would just sing the instrumental that June Sonoy is playing. Right. Because yeah. that's 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 so much I love them. In fact, I actually told this to uh, Emmy at, back at Fan Jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think he did mention that during Sonic Adventure. Yeah. This is well, Sonic story anyway. The, uh, you you do realize this is pro. Again, I probably told you this. This is probably going to be uploaded before Sonic Adventure, right? Oh, right. So no one will oh, know. Well, at least they know which game we're going to be playing. Well, no yeah, because gonna... after Mega Man X3 ends, we're going to use no, that I... schedule for Sonic 4 Episode 1. And when Sonic 3 and Knuckles ends, it's we'll Adventure. use that schedule for Sonic. Yeah, we'll use that for Sonic Adventure. Yeah. Of course, yeah. there are still more short games we could probably commentate over. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, so, like, because obviously there's Mega Man X4, but there's also Sonic R, which, which I just finished recording and editing last night. Oh, cool! And Sonic, and and the sequel to this. Oh yeah, that's. Oh funny. yeah, yeah. In fact, so, yeah, so, yes, because while Scott's the one who recorded episode one, I'm the rec one who recorded episode two. But we'll get to that when we get to that. And there's a and there's unfortunately no episode three. Oh gosh. But, yeah, but, who, which... but who cares? We, who cares? We don't need episode three. Sonic Four is not that great. I don't think it deserves episode three. Even though I would have liked playing as Knuckles again, I, I, we don't need that because we have Sonic Mania. Yeah. yeah. Run. I oh, you made Speaking it. Of which, um, I think the color scheme of Knuckles in Sonic Mania is supposed to be based off of Knuckles Chaotix, if I'm saying correctly, because mm -hmm. it has like the mm -hmm. very bright yeah. pinkish. Yeah. 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 I, I thought the exact same thing as well. Mm-hmm. Which I but really I'm okay like with it. it personally. I'm 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 fine with it. I don't mind. No. Oh. I just can't. I, I I just never get tired of that of that dough. What is that? What is that? What what is that dough from? The, the Simpsons. It's Homer. I've never watched The Simpsons. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I can't believe that. Where have you been? For, where have you been for the past thirty years or twenty years? Behind my mother's back. Literally. I love the I love the Simpsons. Yeah. Believe me, she was the main reason I wouldn't get a PlayStation 2. In fact, I actually had to disobey her just to get a PlayStation 2. Of course, she did eventually let me keep it in the end, but she still wasn't happy when she saw me playing it at home. Well, why is she not happy? Wait, where's Scott? Is he here? Scott, are you there? Currently oh. doing something. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, you, can't we, leave, you can't leave us. You're the one who recorded this game. Yeah, you recorded this game, for God's sakes. Yeah. And, and you did a good job with the commentary for, like, the Labyrinth Zone, so why aren't you saying much about Mad Gear Zone? Well, because I'm doing it. What, what are you doing? Scott? Uh, Scott? Scott! Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell oh, us. Oh, boy. This is not... Oh, God. Uh, let's try to focus on talking about the game anyway. Oh, uh, God. So, this seesaw. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. That sound effect that the seesaws are used for... Like, the sound effects being used for that seesaws... I swear that was heard in Mushroom Hill Zone from Sonic 3. And also, why do you need an alarm? Just, and using that as the, um, Act 3 for Mad Gear. I don't know. And, oh boy. RUN! Oh, no. You're about to, you lost rings. Gotta keep on running, Sonic. Just keep on Stop! running. Oh, no way. 
impending doom is right. You're right. Yeah, that's what this. This um, is literally doom. Uh, this is, act this is literally my interpretation of doom. What's What's interesting is that there's there's a stage in Shadow of the Hedgehog that's actually called the Doom, and it's just as bad as everyone. And the says character it. and and the character in, in Shadow of the Hedgehog is Black Doom. Who 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 even who despite being voiced by Sean Schemmel, actually sounds more like Doctor Claw rather than Goku. No, I th I thought it sounds more like Lucario from Pokemon. Okay, I'm back. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you're back, Scott. Yeah, sorry uh, about anyway, that. Anyway, yes, Sean Schemmel does also voice Lucario from Pokemon, but and as far as his Black Doom voice, even though he, I know he didn't voice this character, he still sounds like Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Come, I, how can you not t draw all that comparison, Lucas? Like, Brain Scratch brought it up. Well, the only time I've heard of Inspector Gadget was the, the Soldier Cook review of the movie. I've actually known about Inspector Gadget for a little while, but unfortunately, my very first exposure to him, unfortunately, was the movies. The one with I've Matthew never seen Broderick? The oh. Yeah, the one with Matthew Broderick. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. That was my very first exposure to Inspector... Actually, no. I take it back. My very first okay. exposure to Inspector Gadget was not the Matthew Broderick film, but rather the second live-action Inspector Gadget film. Oh, the one that stars that, um, that guy from The Office, right? I think so. I, I, I never saw that film, so I don't know. Okay, well, uh, uh, by the way, what time are we at? We're at 11:42. Uh, we're at 11:43, 44, 45. We're about to hit 11:50, right about now. Now. Okay, I think I'm at. Okay. I think I'm at a good point. Yeah. Uh, a, a little. Uh, a little advice, uh, Scott. Um, if you have to do something, but while Lucas and I are still commentating. Don't pause the video because that way it'll be easier for you to keep up on. Yeah, I didn't mean to pause the video. Back. For why some reason, it just paused on itself. Then why did you? Anyway, so yeah, Sonic made it through Act Three. Oh goody! Now, now you're time. okay. Now you're on track. Thank goodness. Yep. Uh -huh. Now it is time for the boss. Defeat the real Eggman. So wait, no, all the no, all the Doctor Eggmans were fake. It's a fake. Uh, oh, we're not at that game yet. I know, but I still wanted to make. Oh, don't too. tell! Me. Oh my God, this yep, is literally it's the Sonic Two boss. But except but instead, more. something different happens. And, and, and plus, and plus, and plus, those things that um, Eggman is uh, surrounding him, they don't hurt. They don't hurt you when you're uh, trying to bounce on him, but they will hurt you when he, he actually releases them. Ah, okay. Like, Ow. like we just saw. Oh, by the way, by the way, the ring physics. It's the exact same ring physics from Sonic Rush in Sonic Advance. Oh the more you gosh. get hit, the, the more you, you get no hit, the further away your rings will, will deploy, it will, will and plus, like, bounce you... back. So it's almost as if Sonic had a health bar, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And now we got... Now it's, time for, now it's time for a fairly interesting boss. It's actually a boss where you're constantly running. I actually think this boss is pretty cool. This is sort of similar to the um, the Mushroom Hill. Or... Yeah. This yeah, is... I can see that. Actually. This is similar to the Mushroom fact, Hill boss. Well, yeah, and, and I'm going to be honest. This is this is actually my favorite boss in the game. Even though it can be pretty annoying. But now it's over. Be that boss. Mm -hmm. And there he goes. Flying away. Uh, mm -hmm. I cast you, Sonic. Too slow, Egghead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, your plan is almost because... as fake as your mustache. Oh. Uh, who who taught <laughs> you that? <laughs> and I continue. That I'm gonna ask how many continues. <laughs> how many continues did you get? I don't know, but those are actually Just actual lines. Oh, and cutscene. Oh, we got a cutscene, even though there's no dialogue. Uh, I'll, I'll, let's try inserting dialogue. Eggman, you won't get away with this. Hey, what are yes, you doing? I will. Huh? See ya. I'm going to space. space. Yeah, well, you can't get away from me. And shall we hear you say, space. Space. Did you say space? Oh my gosh, look. It's a rocket built by Tails. For outer space now oh my gosh. I don't know if you but the rocket ship was built by Tails, but Tails is not even in the game. Yeah, so basically Sonic pulled that right oh. out of his asshole. 
Oh my god. That's not... uh, well, anyway. good news. We'll, see, we'll see Tales in episode two, but we will. But we will see you for the finale for Sonic Four episode one. Oh yes. Later's.